yet sometimes harsh. In its harshness, there is a stark beauty, a poignant reminder that that which was given to us must be cherished. We are the keepers of this earth, of the beasts that dwell upon it, and of all that flourishes on it. These were divine words in the beginning. Desert is considered by some to be the oldest desert in the world. It is 50,000 square kilometers of uninhabitable, indeed hostile land. And it is expanding. Each day the shifting dunes consume more and more of the habitable land bordering it. For centuries it has stood as a natural barrier warding off seafaring explorers from distant lands. Indeed its very name, Namib, means vanguard or protector. Say that Namibia is cursed, for along its entire eastern border lies another desert, the Kalahari. Although this is a stable desert, its boundless, barren tracts of land have little to offer. Situated between the Kalahari and the Nabab deserts is an arid tract of land that too offers little. It is a dry land with sparse and unpredictable rainfall. A mere 600 millimeters of rain falls throughout the year and with temperation is meager and the soils poor. Human habitation in this harsh, desolate world is fragile and it is difficult for outsiders to conceive why people persist in their attempts to eke out a living in it. But they do. With their small herds of goats and sheep, the Nama people's focus is on subsistence. They are communal farmers who worry constantly about the water supply. Sadly, rivers and dams remain dry even through the summer. Today, this land, which is already barely able to support human habitation, is becoming more desolate. Desertification has set in. Desertification is... ...of productivity based on land degradation in arid, semi-arid and dry subhumid lands. The immediate effects of desertification would be decreasing the livelihoods of the people depending on the land. For instance, a, a goat farmer that has his herd that can't sort of sustain itself, he would lose out in the productivity of that herd. Desertification is not the result of absence of rain over prolonged periods, nor is it the consequence of temporarily overgrazed land. It is an almost irreversible process during which a well-vegetated area is transformed into a wasteland no longer able to respond to rainfall in the normal manner. Southern Namibia is particularly prone to desertification. But it is only when a catalyst is introduced that desertification begins to ravage the land. Well, there's two aspects. It, climate change is one thing that has been mentioned, but it's actions of people, which is the primary issue. Man's overstocking of the land and overgrazing are the most obvious factors. But in naturally dry areas where artificial water air desertification has also set in. When all available vegetation has been consumed by the animals and seeds disappear from the soil, rainfall brings with it only the erosion of the trampled ground. Despite the urgent need to slow down and reverse the desertification process, it continues, rendering more and more ground useless as each year passes. Repairing the damage is going to take generations. 
There can be no instant fixes here. 